going side to side. That uh, the Wonder Bread popper and just pop, pop, pause. Make sure you let everyone look behind them when the cask is. Yep. It's a proto prototype popper, you said? Yeah, it is, yep. So coming soon, we'll get a little bit, maybe a little that size one and a smaller one. Yeah. And uh, a bunch of different colors. Yeah, I have, a f I have a few of the shads. The shads work really well. Yeah, well, it's all about the action, you know? It's yeah. Like, they got great action with, like, whether you're letting it sink or, or you're retrieving yeah. it. Yeah. It swims. That's what they want. And the whole body moves, it's not just the tail. Yeah. Like, that's how I look at every bait, you know? If it's just the tail that moves, it's not good. Right. Yeah, how'd, how'd you get into making your own lure? Um, well, the, I, I got, I partnered up with Josh from J&H. And yeah. he, he told me, he's like, hey, do you want to, like, come out with a lure? Because he was already working with John Skinner. Yeah. So, I had a couple days, I had a, I mean, growing up in, in where I lived, like, my, in my parents' house, uh, my basement, because my dad was into fishing, he had basically, like, a whole tackle shop down there, so I had, like, a couple different baits that I really liked, and I melted them together. The fin was actually, at one point, a cardboard fin, because I cut <laughs> it out, and I, I sliced I sliced the back of the shad with a razor blade, inserted the fin with, like, I was just cardboard, and then I sent it to Josh, he sent it to the, the manufacturer, and then... That was how like the first prototype was made, and then the second one, and the third one, and then just went on from there. You know. Yeah. You got one? Yeah, I got a fish on. Something small. <laughs> hey, no skunk, man. That's all that matters. A little striper. Oh, there's a few of them following it. I see them, yeah. yeah. They're really, uh, they're really piled in here. Um, I would just grab the leader and pop them, pop them in. There we go. I got pliers if you need it. Nice. All right, cool little guy. <laughs> They're fun. Somebody got him. You got him on? Nice. There we go, that's one. Got him? Yep. Let me get a picture of it. <laughs> Small baby. Is that, a, is that a blue? Sometimes your date are blue. Oh, it's a, it's a little striper. <laughs> Alright, that's one. There we go. Oh, just walked. Yep. All good. That's a good release. Yeah, we'll get another <laughs> He probably had that one single hook in the back. Yeah. I saw this video on, on the sound machines that people use for striped bass. Yeah. You ever heard of that? Sonar, you mean? Or? No, sound machines. It's a, oh, it's yeah. like a, it's like a hammer that that they they put it on a mechanical contraption where it just keeps banging. And it like it makes just it goes boom, boom, boom. It just keeps doing that, and it attracts the it attracts the bass. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's called, <laughs> isn't that called like a hydro wave. I <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but I've never I've never heard of that before. Well, yeah. I know, I know that they use it for uh, fresh water. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it attracts them, but it's supposed to do it like turns them on. Like, what it does is. It, Supposedly that mimics like I think like a bait fish noise. Yeah. Like bait fish like on the move or something. Or... There we go. It's funny because oh it came off. Pause. Oh no he's I oh, lost. Yeah. He came back for he's a few times. That's cool watching. <laughs> right there. Yeah. He was oh, he's right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's there's, funny. There's a fish tank also at Star Island that you can uh I got some of those minnows there. I'll, I'll save them for later. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's one. Uh, it came off. <laughs> yep. He's back on. <laughs> he came back for it. <laughs> Treble, that's why you stayed hooked. Yeah. Holy shit. That was wild. <laughs> it's up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll get a bigger one. Alright. We'll get a few. I got one on camera. This is a pretty one. I'll get a yeah. picture of you. <laughs> Alright. Nice. This kind of looks good with the sandbar in the background. It looks like we're surf fishing on the <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Nice. Yeah, it's cool when you get them on top of water like that. Yeah. We got a couple more and then kind of wing ties down. Right yeah. Damn it, they found me. <laughs> All I wanted to do was fish. They got me. I keep the bale open actually and I feed it a bunch of line. Yeah. That's so it sinks straight down, gets there, gets to the bottom faster. Wait for, you know, I wait for it to feel a bump or to see my line go slack. Right. Then I'll start check out how you jig it. Yeah, yeah. Then I'll start working it. You know, you can reel slower. You know, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, while I'm working it back, if I feel it hit bottom, then I might reel a little faster just to speed it up. But always in between, I'm jigging it real aggressively. Yeah. It's causing that bucktail to, you know, look like it's fleeing and pulsating. That's what's going to trigger the striper to eat it. And usually I like to follow it down after the jig. I follow it down while I reel so I keep my line tight so I right. know it. Like a lot of fish love to hit it on the drop. Yeah. sinking when you lower that rod. Oh, or I see. Pause, you know, you can let it sink a little bit deeper. Yeah. Okay. Got one on? There we go. Fish on? Yeah. There we go. Oh, he yeah, acted a little stiff. Your rod is stiff. It's probably the biggest porgy I've seen. You want to eat it or? I'll keep it. Yeah. Get a, to hit a bucktail. <laughs> Pretty big yeah, one, some too. Of them will. Yeah. Some of them like a real big one, big ones, right? Or you'll snag a little one. Like, they're aggressive <laughs> for like. For their bit. size, yeah. yeah if they got, if they got bigger, man. They're they're great. I love catching them on small, small tackle. Yeah. It's well, great. Yeah. They're kind of like catching like snappers. Yeah. So. Yeah. They're also like, I think 
go straight down and, and how I drop the, the, the bucktail is I, I open the bale and then I like to feed it a bunch of line, like mm -hmm. I raise my rod up yep. and then I follow it down. And that's and that's the best way that you're gonna be able to feel like the light little bump when this bucktail hits the bottom or how you're gonna be able to see like the slack in your line when it hits the bottom. Yeah. There we go. I don't know what it is though. Yeah. We're aggressive. <laughs> that's that's funny. You're taking them, right, Neil? Because I'm a uh... no, squirt at me. Fish on. What is it? Nice. Fish on. What do you got? Mystery fish. Yeah, sounds good to me. I was going to be at the Hula last night. Oh, striper, nice. Oh, we just got a striper. Sorry, right, hold on. There we go. It's got a little tap. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you, you don't you don't, don't see him in a while. It's got another bass. Bring closer. <laughs> Blue yeah, it's a big blue. Yeah, it's a big blue. Doubled up. Wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> might have another striker. Oh, no, don't, don't get tangled. Don't get tangled. Yep. Holy shit. Striper? I like the shad. A lot of times. Not ready. A lot of times the blues like the shad more than the stripers sometimes out here. <laughs> you gotta lift them up. Yeah. I, can't, I can't reach down yeah. to it. How big is that one? That's a small one. Yeah, it's a small one. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. Keep casting. And yep, and keep hoping. You just drift a little longer. <laughs> and we'll probably go up here again. <laughs> yeah, supposedly they're gonna make like a fishing platform below here, so. It'll, it'll turn it, this spot will turn into like Sebastian Inlet in Florida. Like it'll be a, a really great place to fish, but easy place to fish. Everybody and their uncle will be here. That is pretty cool though. Never seen that done before. That's yeah, awesome. I, mean, I, I never, I never saw it like them do it in my lifetime. Yeah. Like the rock, like the, like the forehand. So it's kind of cool to see how they did it. I've, I've seen them like each layer now. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. So they did big rocks, then little rocks. Now they're doing big rocks again. That is pretty sweet. And then, yeah, I think they're then going to build like some kind of platform, you know, concrete maybe. I don't think that'll last long. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll just get washed away or eroded or something like that. You got one on? That's the little Porgy. Porgy? No, I don't think it's a Porgy. You got it on the bucktail. A little striper. Nice. Yeah. You got one on? Nice. Oh, 
Oh, no, there's... Whoa! <laughs> These things are all over the place. These are my favorite to eat. Yeah. It's crazy. You're, you're, you can catch sea bass now in 10 feet of water. There's so <laughs> many of them. There we go. <laughs> Striper. Little baby. All right, Finback Shad, what's up? Show me what you got. Funny, I usually just, um, there's one. <laughs> I usually, uh, I usually just swim these back in. Never really like pumping. Little yeah, striper? Calmed out a bit, right? Yeah, I mean, we're just, well, because we're right in front of this rip, like this current like, is making it seem that way, but. Aggressive jigs? Yep, aggressive jigs, reel down slow, because yep. you don't want to pull it off the bottom. You kind of want to work it along the bottom back to the boat. Okay. So if you reel too quick, then it pulls it up like this, and then you're eventually far off the bottom. Okay. And, then, and don't be afraid every so often just to kind of let it sink back down and, and kind of find bottom again. Yep. Just missed it. Got one on? Yep. A little guy. There Stack we go. Here. Look, he's got a follower. See him? They follow him because they spit up bait fish and then they, the other ones eat the scraps. <laughs> There we go. You're on or you're, or you're stuck? Oh, that's a good one. We got a good one here. We got a good one here, Cap. Maybe I should not went that way. Yeah. Show you with the lighthouse in the back. Yeah, do it. That's a nice picture. The fish is like, what's going on? <laughs> you gotta wonder what's going on. <laughs> head, you know? I mean, it's probably just a lot of like what the equivalent to the F word is in yeah. fish language. Yeah. A lot of that talking. Probably. Yeah. Fuck, I'm done. I'm it's like, done. It's like, Bob, you would never know what happened to me. Everything. Just following this fish, minding my own business. I saw the light. <laughs> <laughs> you got another one? All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna follow you up. There we go. I'm gonna mimic your pattern. Got a little tap there, let's see.
There we go. Almost fell over. Is it or blue? Blue? Oh, <laughs> little baby. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Did you feel bottom or no? Nope. Like it. When you go up, you follow it down with your rod's hip. You see how it's straight? Well, that's a good one. That's, that might have been a fish, I don't know. <laughs> right there is bottom. Just leave it right there. Yep. Jig up. Oh, Let me see your hook. Before. Let me. There we go. Fish on. What do you got there? Mystery fish. Oh, yeah. nice one. Yeah. I mean, if you guys want just more action, you could, could probably go back inside. There's one. It's small though, whatever it is. It's sticking to the bottom. Yeah, we can go back inside for, for the schoolies, that's like good action or Yep. Uh, I could go out deeper and we could just dig a hole in this thing down. What is it? It's gonna be 15, but. Thirteen. <laughs> I want to hit the bottom. I open the bale, drop it down. I immediately lift up, and look, I follow it down. The line's barely going off the reel. I'm just kind of following it down with. It goes off when I pull up, right. but the, see, and then it hits the bottom when it goes real slack like that. Okay. Yep. Follow it. Oh, keep following it down. Probably, yeah, that was, yeah, it's not that deep, right? No, it's not that deep. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. Fish on. What do you got there? Porgy. Porgy on the shad? <laughs> the new hot porgy bait. <laughs> Start advertising. You gotta, you gotta add porgy to that. The scup, the scup killer. Yeah. <laughs> to make a mini one. The scupinator. <laughs> there we go. Sinking a little slower. I forgot about it even with this one. <laughs> this bait uh, it floats, so uh, that's why it was sinking slower. <laughs> you going on? Pretty good hit. Thank you, Rich.
the back. Little, little bye bye. There we go. Got the biggest one of the day, I think, eh? Right? Like the rats, yeah. Yeah, probably. Without even really trying to catch them. Not in some sea bass spots or you, you catch them like oh, hard hit. Wow. There we go. Looks like a bass. Black sea bass? No striper. Striper? That's a better one. Should I move my line out of the way? No, you're good. I'm underneath you. You have a fish on or something, unless I'm on your line. Yeah. Is that, is that a blue? Yeah. Ah. Huh? Those flies, huh? They don't bite rich. I think they're. Yeah, have a lot of hair on your legs. They don't. <laughs> Captain Rich Fisherholic is that he not only puts you on the spots, but he actually you know takes care of you and, and makes sure that you you learn new techniques and, and try to use the you know the te techniques that he uses to catch these really big bass. Uh, so that alone is, is worth the the price of admission, and, and I can't wait to try it again. We're gonna try it again in a couple months and see if we can get on some some major cows. So thank you, uh, Captain Rich Fisherholic. Uh, it was amazing, amazing trip, and I look forward to doing it again. Right, take care. <laughs>